Welcome to the public information meeting for the widening of State Road 434, Forest City Road, from State Road 424, Edgewater Drive, to the Seminole County Line, Maitland Boulevard. Public participation at this meeting is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Should you wish to express any concerns regarding FDOT compliance with Title VI, please contact either Jennifer Smith, the District 5 Title VI Coordinator at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 506, Deland, Florida, 32720, Jennifer.Smith2 at dot.state.fl.us, or Jacqueline Paramore, the State Title VI Coordinator at 605 Suwannee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-850-414-4753. Jacqueline.Paramore at dot.state.fl.us or you may use one of the forms available in English, Spanish, and Creole at the registration table. The purpose of the public meeting is to share information about the proposed project and to provide time to answer questions with FDOT and consultant staff. In this part of the presentation, we will go over the project history, review design details, and discuss the comment forms. The project development and environment study analyzed future capacity needs on the State Road 434 Forest City Road corridor from Edgewater Drive to Samoran Boulevard. The project development and environment study was approved by FHWA on September 5, 1996. The preferred alternative recommended by the study was a six-lane urban roadway with a raised curb inside median and bike lanes with curb and gutter and sidewalks on the outside from Edgewater Drive to Samoran Boulevard. A second public hearing was held in July 2011 to provide updates to the 1996 PD&D study for public comment. A design workshop was held in August 2013 during the project's design phase to present the proposed improvements, including right-of-way and access management requirements. FDOT is currently completing the final design for the preferred alternative from Edgewater Drive to Maitland Boulevard. The section from Maitland Boulevard to Samoran Boulevard was constructed in 2010 as a separate project. The design of this section from Edgewater Drive to Maitland Boulevard will be completed in October 2019. The project limits are on State Road 434, Forest City Road, from Edgewater Drive, State Road 424, to the Seminole County Line, Maitland Boulevard, State Road 414, a distance of two miles. The proposed roadway will have an urban typical section with a curbed median and curbed outside shoulders, four-foot bike lanes with a seven-foot sidewalk on the west side and a six-foot sidewalk on the east side will be included in the design. The limits of the widening are approximately 13 feet on the inside of the southbound lanes, 7.5 feet on the inside of the northbound lanes, and 5.5 feet on the outside of the northbound lanes. This section begins at Edgewater Drive and ends at Herbison Drive. The typical section north of Herbison Drive also is an urban typical section with a curbed raised median and curbed outside shoulders, seven-foot bike lanes with sidewalks on both sides of the roadway. The existing roadway pavement will be milled and resurfaced, and the striping will be changed to provide three 11-foot lanes and a seven-foot bike lane in each direction. 
This section will extend from Herbison Drive to Maitland Boulevard. Access management improvements are being made throughout the corridor to improve safety and limit the number of conflicts along the roadway. Generally, there are full median openings spaced at 1,320 feet minimum. Directional median openings are spaced at 660 feet minimum. They allow left turns from State Road 434 to the side streets. These were presented at the public information meeting held in July of 2013, and the location and function have been slightly modified since the last meeting in two locations. This drawing shows the proposed median openings. The project is closing eight median openings and is providing six full and 16 directional median openings. Since the previous public meeting, a directional northbound median opening has been added between Lake Weston Drive and Kennedy Boulevard. Northbound and southbound directional openings have been provided for Faulkner Road, and a left turn access was added at the East Pembroke Drive signalized intersection. These changes are shown on the slide. Part of the access management design closes the northbound State Road 434 access to Western Pembroke Drive. The existing median opening had to be closed due to its proximity to a signalized intersection and its conflict with the proposed left turn lane. This existing access is typically used for residents, school buses, and parent drop-off to Riverside Elementary School. An intersection study was prepared to evaluate alternatives for the connection from northbound State Road 434 to the elementary school. After the completion of the study, the school was remodeled and the bus loop for the facility is located on Drake Drive. The Pembroke Drive access is for parent drop-off, school staff, and after-school program transportation. After review of the new traffic patterns from moving the bus loop to the rear of the school, it was determined that additional improvements on Pembroke Drive were unnecessary. Orange County was included in the decision process for the Pembroke Drive improvements would be their responsibility. This drawing shows the existing conditions and traffic patterns to and from the school. Vehicles access West Pembroke Drive through an existing median opening to travel to the school. Note that distance between the West and East Pembroke Drive intersections is about 150 feet, which conflicts with the proposed left turn lane to East Pembroke Drive. This drawing shows the proposed conditions and traffic patterns to and from the school. Buses will continue to use Drake Drive and Elbow Way to access the school bus loop. Parents and school staff will access the main parking lot of the school using Drake Drive and Garnet Avenue to enter the campus and Pembroke Drive to exit back to southbound State Road 434. The existing signals at Kennedy Boulevard, All-American Boulevard, Riverside Park Drive, East Pembroke Drive, and Calumet Drive will be upgraded to mast arm signal poles to match the adjacent roadway sections of north and south of this project. Full access is provided at the Weston Lane and John Paul Drive intersections. Directional access is provided at the Villa Drive, Lake Weston Drive, Napa Auto Parts, Kelvington Drive, Lovely Lane, Faulkner Drive, Jurgensen Drive, Drake Drive westbound, Greenleaf Drive eastbound intersections, as well as various apartments and developments. An addendum to the PD&D noise study was completed in January 2014 for the project limits. The study results show the only reasonable and feasible site for a noise wall is adjacent to the Bellaterra condominiums. The noise wall aesthetic design was coordinated with the community. 
The majority of the condominium residents chose ashlar stone for the texture and light beige for the wall, which is shown in the slide. The length of the wall has been adjusted slightly to accommodate and can be seen on the exhibits on display during the meeting. For any questions regarding the exact location of the sound wall, please see the FDOT and consultant staff here at the meeting. Right-of-way was acquired for this project for the pond expansions and roadway improvements. Most of the roadway improvements occur within the existing right-of-way, with the exception of corner clips at Weston Lane and at the intersections of Kennedy Boulevard and Pembroke Drive. This right-of-way was needed to accommodate the new mast arm signal at these intersections. Also, a three-foot right-of-way strip was acquired at the former site of Affordable Signs Building, located on the northeast corner of Greenleaf Road. The existing structure has also been demolished. The schedule for the project is as follows. The design was initiated in January 2012, with the preliminary design complete in May 2014. Right-of-way acquisition was completed in April 2017. The final project design will be completed in October 2019. The project is funded for construction in the 2021 fiscal year at the cost of approximately $12.2 million. This concludes the presentation. Your comments are appreciated and encouraged. The project team will be happy to answer any questions or comments you may have on the project. Thank you for coming to the meeting. For more information or questions, please contact Elo Joseph, FDOT Project Manager, or Bill Anderson, FDOT Consultant Project Manager.